Hello everybody! Today we are going to begin building a nuclear power plant. And this is the foundation for the building. Uh, I want to know exactly where center is. This is how I usually find the exact center of any building I build. And there isn't an exact center. Oh joy. Ow. Owies. I forgot about the drop. So this building doesn't have an exact center. You can tell because of their, the uh, gap of two right there. So, well, this would be... Take that there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six. So this is the exact center right here. Right here. I want it here. So what I have to do in order to get it there is move this entire back part of the building one space. Yes, I can be picky where I have my exact center of a building. Also means I have to dig this up, dig that up, dig that up. Stone. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing this part, but welcome to my OCD. Certain buildings must be completely uniform. And this one's not quite uniform enough. Okay, that was interesting. Game almost froze. No. Bad. Okay, now I need more stone and I can put these buckets away before I pick up any more water by mistake. See, I've got the reactors right there already. I'm stick these buckets in the build craft area. And I need cobblestone, so here's cobblestone. What? Okay! I am having random spikes and lag, apparently. But, oh well. This engine's not running, is it? No, it's not. Rather odd I'm having these issues, but oh well. Now to figure out where the dead center is. Okay. Ding. 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 And ding. There we go. That is dead center. Why is this so important? At least to me because it determines where the rea reactor goes. So I've got reinforced stone there. The closer they are together, the less wiring I have to do. I should have really put a torch on top of that thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bingo. Center. And that is the bottom. No. No, it is not. Oh, 
this is going to take a lot of stone, isn't it? Here is where the reactor will be centered. I'm going to need a lot more of this stuff. It's a 5x5 five five base. So this column here will have the reactor, and that will be surrounded by water for cooling. Oh good, I do pick it back up when I do that. Mm. Ow! I wholeheartedly deserve that fall damage. Okay, it's still midday. Now that we've got the reactors placed in the center of the building, we're roughly in the center of the building. get the reactors. kidding me. <sighs> ding, ding. Place, place. Hi. Okay, and there's the core of the reactor. Ding, ding. Place, place, and hoy, there we go. so far only looks slightly dumb. Hmm. No. Bingo. Stone. Place around the base. Oh, I ran out of stone. Oh, uh, need more. And the sun is setting. Great. Hooray, sun setting. Do I... That, that's stone bricks. Where's stone? Stone. No stone. We can fix that problem. Or find iron in the way. Ding, ding. And I'll finish that stone base before the sun sets. This thing is not going to be entirely bomb-proof. The cage around it will just prevent it from being outrageously powerful and exploding up my entire base. Oh, wait a minute. Options. Good.
The reactor, once finished, each chamber will produce about 70 E energy units a tick. Which would be handy because when I ran a power here I had to rewire this entire workshop, which you can see has updates. I have electric wi lighting in here now. Hooray! Which broke down when I ran out of power. So I had to rewire my entire workshop. I don't know how. And that would be the phone. Hold on. Oh, you know what? On that note, I'm just going to end this recording. See you later.